Hello everyone. Today we want to solve this uh, equation. Um, if you like to solve the problem yourself, please pause the video. So this is another one of our symmetric equations um, and we have solved an uh, equation similar to this before. Um, when we have um, equations like this where the uh, coefficients are symmetric, like this 3 and 3, minus 5 and 5 and the sign of the coefficient can change um, but if the uh, absolute value of the coefficient is symmetric from the from the lowest power of x to the highest power of x um, then um, we call this a symmetric equation and in order to solve this um, we will just um, divide by um, x to the power of 2 um, which is the middle term and what we get is 3x squared, um, which is this term. And then we get 3 over x squared plus 3 over x squared, which is that term. And from here, we get minus 5x, which is this term, plus 5 divided by x, which is this term, minus 14 is 0. Now, if we factor out minus 5 from this term, we will get minus 5 times x minus 1 over x. And if we call x minus 1 over x u, just by looking at it, we can say that we can see that if we find u squared, we will have x squared plus 1 over x squared terms. So u squared will be x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 2. And therefore, x squared plus 1 over x squared is u squared plus 2. Now replacing this into um, this term, we will get 3 times u squared plus 2 minus 5u minus 14 is 0. And this turns into a quadratic equation, 3u squared minus 5u minus 8 equals to 0. And from here we see that sum of um, this uh, coefficient and this coefficient is equal to minus 5 therefore one of the roots is minus 1 and the other root is um, 8 over 3 so we know that u was x minus 1 over x so let's um, replace u with x minus 1 over x so solution um, for the root 1 is x minus 1 over x is minus 1 Therefore, x squared minus 1 will be minus x, or x squared plus x minus 1 is 0, which will give us x is minus 1 plus or minus um, 1 plus 4 over 2, and that is minus 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. So these are two of the roots. And for root 2, which is x minus 1 over x is 8 over 3, we get, let's multiply both sides by 3x, 3x squared minus 3 is 8x, which is 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 is 0, and that will give us x is plus 8 plus or minus 64 minus 4 times 3 times minus 3 divided by 2 times 3 which is 8 plus or minus 64 plus 36 divided by 2 times 3 and this is 100 so square root of 100 is 10 8 plus or minus 10 divided by 6 which will give us 18 divided by 6 which is 3 or minus 2 divided by 6, which is minus 1 over 3. And again, um, since this is a symmetric equation, but the uh, sign of the coefficients changes um, from each uh, power x to the next power x, the roots are going to be inverse of each other and the polarity will be also inverse. Um, which is what we're getting here. So from this uh, 
problem and onward, what I'm going to do is to show you how to use a tool, um, a free tool for both Windows and Mac that you can do calculations with. Um, there is a paid version of this tool called MATLAB that um, engineers and scientists use a lot in doing numerical calculations. Um, but there is also um, an open source version of this called Octave. Um, you can download it online and install it on your computer and um, check your answers with, or if you have um, a problem like the equation that we just solved, um, that is not a parametric equation, you can use this tool to, to um, actually solve it. Um, in um, engineering, a lot of times um, you need to um, solve a problem manually so that you get an insight into what is actually happening in the problem. But in a, lo a lot of other times, you can just solve the problem um, numerically and just get away with it and just don't um, save some time and not do the hand calculation. So um, I uh, try to show you how to use this tool. Um, and um, let me just comment these out. So you'll get familiar with the syntax of how to um, use this tool gradually um, as I show you um, more and more problems, uh, sorry, more and more um, codes. And you will also get familiar with um, a little bit of coding. So I think that will uh, be useful. And I would appreciate it if you can leave me comments um, on how useful it is or how you um, like this um, new method. So um, there is um, there are two windows here after you run Octave. One is the command window and the other is the editor. Um, so um, um, I usually put everything in the editor because I can edit it. But you can write each line as a command in the command window and run it um, as well. So here, um, um, the first three commands is to um, um, clear the memory of all the um, previously created variables, um, close all plot windows, and clear the screen, uh, which is the command window. Um, and then um, I'm showing um, one command here, which is called linspace. And that means make a vector of um, numbers and put them in x x is our uh, variable a variable of our equation and th that vector will start from minus two and end will um end with four and it will put uh, 1000 equally spaced points between minus two and four um so let's just um run an example first of all uh, whenever you have a command you can say help the command name, for example, linspace, and then the description of the command comes up. Um, you can um, read it, you can practice with it, and you can see how it is. And or you can um, even search online, and there are many examples of these uh, lines of code online that you can use. Um, so, for example, if I if I say linspace one and five and five, which means put uh, five equally spaced points between 1 and 5 and print the result or put it in a variable, it will give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is in fact uh, 5 equally spaced points between 1 and 5. So here um, I am um, saying, because I'm, I already solved the problem um, manually, so I know that the roots are between minus 2 and 4, so I say put a thousand points between minus 2 and 4 because I want to have a large resolution that I can see um, where, it, where we're crossing the x-axis. And then I write the equation here, which is y equals to, the syntax for writing the equation here is like, whenever you have a coefficient and you want to multiply to something, you put an asterisk or a star, that's the multiplication um, symbol. Whenever you want to raise something to a power, you use this hat sign. Um, but whenever we want to raise each element of a vector to a power, uh, which is pretty much all the time um, with um, the scope of the problems that we solve, you have to put a dot before it. So we do 3 times x dot hat 4. That means 3x to the power of 4 minus 5x to the power of 3 minus 14x um, squared plus 5x plus 3. Now, if we want to see where this 
curve equals to zero, which is actually the, the equation that we want to solve, uh, we need to find, um, if you want to find it graphically, we need to plot it and we need to see where it crosses the x-axis. So the plot command plots x versus, um, actually y versus x. So you put the x first and then um, you put y. And this line width, just tell it how thick the line that it's going to plot should be. For some reason, the fonts that this uh, program uses are very small. So uh, with a quick Google search, I figured out that if I use this command line, I can just set adjust the font and the line size. And grid on basically tells the tool to turn on the XY grid. So let's plot this. Um, if we click on this symbol, it says save file and, uh, and run. So if I do that, we get this nice plot. Uh, which uh, actually shows the roots of the equation graphically. So one of the roots is here, um, the other root is here, and the other root is here, and the other is here. So um, we know that two of the roots should be positive and two should be negative. So this curve also shows us two are negative and two are positive. And we know that one of the roots is three, so it is crossing three. The other root is minus one over three, which is a number between zero and one. So this is most likely minus one over three. Uh, and the other two roots, I um, I don't know the numerical value of them, but we soon will find the values. Um, so hold on with me for a second. Um, so let's, um, let's just close this for a moment. So that was how to find the roots graphically, but there is also another way of doing it, which is uh, by using a command called roots in this program and it will find the roots of a polynomial equation. Um, let's uh, actually see what the command roots is. So I just say help roots and what it says is computes the roots of the polynomial c. But how do we define the polynomial c? It says for a vector c with n components return the roots of the polynomial um, this polynomial. So basically, if we find a, if we make a vector and we put the coefficients of the polynomial in um, in um, de descending uh, order of powers of x, and then we say roots of c, it should give us um, the roots. So let's go to the editor again. Um, I um, if you put a um, a percent sign before a line, it will just comment it out. It will not run. So I commented out these lines, but let's remove the comments. So the first thing that I do is to define a, um, a vector, um, cof, which is the coefficients of this equation, and uh, put it in the ascending orders of x. So coefficient of x to the power of 4 comes first, so 3, and then minus 5, and then minus 14, 5, and 3. Now, if you notice, um, I put a semicolon at the end of every other line, almost every other line in the previous section of the code. That means um, do the cal calculation, but do not show the results. So if I put a semicolon here, after this uh, line 13 is run, it does not show 3 minus 5, 14, 5, 3 on the display. But when I calculate the roots, I want it to be, um, the roots to be shown. So I don't put the semicolon here. And also, just to do a sanity check, I, I uh, wrote the roots that we manually calculated here. So 3, um, and again, if you put a semicolon, um, it means end of line, so it goes to the next line. So it will be a column uh, vector. So 3 and minus 1, square root of 5 divided by 2, and so on and so forth. So let's run this code again. So again, it will plot um, the figure, but let's go to the command window and see what the answers are. So this is the result of the roots function. And so it gives, gave us, it, it actually calculated the roots automatically, 3 minus 1 over 6, uh, minus 1.6, um, 0.6 and minus 3.3. And this is um, the vector that they manually calculated. So as you see, we did calculate the correct roots. And also the roots function here is a very com convenient way to quickly um, find the roots of this polynomial equation. And now if we go back to um, the 
So here we see that uh, one of the roots is minus one over six, the other is um, minus 0.3. So this is the minus um, one over three root, and the other two is minus one oh, minus 1.6 and 0.6. We can see them on um, the plot. So this is this is 0.6 and this is minus 1.6. So again, we confirm graphically that um, where the roots of the equation are. So I think this is a this is a um, nice addition to um, um, to our problem um, solutions. I keep um, posting codes and showing you how to do things with um, this free software Octave. And if you have questions, just uh, put them in the comment sections, and um, hopefully um, we will solve more and more problems with this tool and uh, verify our manual answers.